Hi, how you doing? It's Jeff Sinker from SkypeGuitarLessonsOnline.com. Welcome you back to another one of my lessons. And I'm sure from the intro, if you're a Led Zeppelin fan like I am, you'll recognize that solo, that piece of music straight away. We are, of course, talking Achilles' Last Stand by Led Zeppelin. Just a great song. Um, to be honest, I was quite late getting into Led Zeppelin. Um, I, I think I was about 14 when I was first introduced to them by a, a good friend of mine back in the UK from years ago. In fact, from my very first band I ever played him, he played me this track. Um, just remember seeing the album cover and this is just weird. They're all staring at the shape. Uh, and he put Achilles' Last Stand on and it just blew me away. I had never heard anything like that before. It, it was incredible. And actually just really, that was it. I just wanted to be Jimmy Page. I, I just, it was an incredible song. Uh, and of course, then I started listening to all the previous songs, realized how much I'd been missing. But then again, at 14, you know, I, I didn't know too much about music anyway. But it did encourage me to keep on playing and working at the guitar, which uh, obviously this is what I do now for a living. Anyway, I am going to shut up and I'm sure you're all going, hey, great, he's going. But uh, if you do find this lesson useful, don't forget, just click on that subscribe button. That way you'll be able to keep in touch with all the new lessons that I'm bringing out every week. But now let me go and show you how to play the solo by Jimmy Page to Achilles' Last Stamp. Preview. So I'll play through the first section and then I'll break it down for you. We start off on the B string on 7th fret, play that once and then we slide down to 5th fret, playing that twice. Then we move back up to 8th fret on the B string and we've got this nice bend with a release on 8th fret, a whole tone bend. Then moving across to the G string, same thing this time on 7th fret, whole tone bend with release. And then we do a double stop on 5th fret G and B. Now we've got this little triplet section that we're going to move on to is G, 5th fret, crossing over to 3 on the high E. Moving to 5 on the high E, and then back again to 5 on the G. Next phrase, it's a very quick uh, pick, hammer on and pull off on the high E string. We're going to do three, five, three, open, crossing over to four on the G. So we get this. Then we go back and play three on the high E. Then we're going to play both strings together, muting the B string in the middle. Then we stay in that position for the next bar and we're going to play four, three, four on G, three on the high E, back to four on the G, and then we're going to play three, five, three on the high E, to five on the B string, going back to three on the high E, open strings, and then we do a five, five on G and B muting the B strings, muting the B string. Let me just play that phrase through for you. Phrase number two, play that through. So 
So we start it off on the D string on seven to five on the G, skip over the B string and we go to seven on the high E. And we move by to the B string on a seven fret and we do the same as we've done previously. We just play that with a slide down. And we go back to seven on the G, seven on the B, sorry, and we play seven, eight, and then 10. Then we've got this again, a little hammer on pull off. We're gonna go eight, hammer on 10, pull off to eight, and finish on seven. Go back to B8, to B7, to B8, and then we slide all the way up to B17. So look at this next phrase, I'll play it through. So we open up with B12, going to E12. E14, then 14 half tone bend releasing back out to the 12. Back to 14, then return to 12. Then repeat similar riff, we do this 12, 14. Then we go to 15 full tone bend. And then on the B string, 12 and 13. 14 on the G, and then 12 on the B. So the next phrase. Start off on G12, quickly moving down to D14 twice. Start again on D14, G12, G14, full tone bend, release to the 12. Back on that 14 again. Now we've got the first of the quick fire runs. We're going to do D14, G12, G14. And then all on the B string at this section, we go 12, 13, 15, 13, 12, 13, 12. Back to G14, B12, G14, and then on the B again, 12, 13, 12, 14 on the G, and then finishing on 12. Next one starts off on B12, B13, 15, crossing to the high E, and we've got 12, 14, 15, 14, 12, back onto the 14. Next section, I've just kept this one together because this is the, the longest run that we're gonna do in this solo here. We just play the line and then we'll break it down. So we start off on 12 on the high E, to 15 on the B, back to 12, and down to the B, we're going 15, 12, 13, 12, crossed to the G14, back to B12, G14, G12, then we've got D14, back to G14, back to D14, and cross back to the G, do 12, 14, 12, two 14s, Finishing on uh, that's D14 twice. Finishing on 12. Let's look at the next phrase, which is a really Life a little sweep that he does. Uh, finish with a nice, real tasty little bend on the 17th fret. So let me just play this. Uh, let me just play this phrase through, and then we'll break it down. So 
So we start off with this really, really nice little sweep that he's doing from 16 on the G to 15 on the B, 15 on the high E. And then he comes back on himself to 17 on the B. Then we do 15 again on the high E, then 17 on the B string, followed by 17 on the high E with a full tone bend. Release it down to 17, down to 12 on the high E, two of them. Then we do a 15 full tone bend and release back. Now we've got 14, 15, back to 14. Then we do 12 on the high E, 14 on the high E, then 15 full tone bend. Then we cross over to 15 on the B, to 13 on the B, on to B, sorry, G, 14. Back to the B13 to B12. So let me play the next line. We start off on G12, crossing straight over to B12, then down to 15 on the B, then we got this little phrase on the high E string which is going 12, 14, 15, 14, 12, back to the 14, and then we're going to move up to 17 fret on the B string, we're going to play 17, 19, 20, Straight over onto the high C string, 17, 19, 20 with a bend, full tone bend. And then coming back down to 19, to 17, to 19. Then we got 17, which is a half tone bend. Back to 17, 15, 17. Full tone bend. Then we got this little phrase. What we're doing there is 17 full tone bend. So we're doing 17, seven, 17 with another bend, 17, 15, 17 with a bend, back to 17, 15 on the high, finishing on the 14. So, final line. So, all on the high string, this little part, we're going to do 14, 15, 14, 12, 14. Then we've got 14, 15, 17, slide down to 15, twice on the 15, then we do 14, 15, back to 14. Then we go to G14, and we do 13 on the B, down to 13 to 12 on the B, then B14 to B12. D14, G12, D14, G12. Then to finish it, we got this 14 on D to 12. Then the final line is 14D, G12, B12, 2, E12.
Well, I do hope you've enjoyed learning how to play Achilles' Last Stand by Led Zeppelin. Uh, to me, one of the best guitar solos by Jimmy Page. Yeah, just really wonderful song, wonderful track. I have included the tablature and also I've got the GP guitar profile of that, guitar pro 6 file of that. So you'll be able to download that and then uh, kind of play along, slow it down if you want, just to go through the parts that I've shown you how to do. Well, that's it for this lesson. It's been a pleasure having your company as always. Uh, if you did enjoy it, find it very useful, don't forget, just click on the subscription button there. Don't forget, if you click the tab that's with there as well, the little option tab, then you'll be notified whenever there's a new posting from me, which is only one or two a week. Trying to get two a week at least. So, any comments, any feedback, just stick them down there. If you have any requests as well for any solos, any songs that you'd like to me to go through, or any theory questions, just drop me a line. I'm sure I'll get there eventually. But that's it. Time to go. And you'll be probably saying, thank God it's shutting up now. Well, I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Until then, this is Jeff Sinker from SkyGuitarLessonsOnline.com. Wishing you well. Look forward to your company. See you soon. Goodbye.